My name is Terry Aston Bennett. I'm the general manager at Cliffs Variety Store. On the 21st of October, a construction crew was working out in the middle of the street at 18th and Castro and either cut or punctured a gas line. And then uh, they didn't inform anybody. There was just a loud, a loud whooshing noise. And then when we looked out, the contractors were running up the block on their cell phones, and the only notification we got was run. We had to empty our store, and we called the elementary school to let them know, because that's where my daughter goes to school. And they weren't notified by the police or anybody else for over an hour. We evacuated up to market, and then we ended up evacuating actually all the way down to church and market, because the smell of the gas was so strong. And um, that was at 1248 was our last transaction that was in process when the gas line was cut. And we were allowed back in to the area at 320-ish. The uh, muni drivers who had their buses on the street that day did more for the neighborhood than the contractors, the pg and &E, than even the police who didn't, and fire department who didn't show up for almost 20 minutes. The muni drivers uh, emptied their buses, they stopped and directed traffic, they prevented people from coming into the area. It was a very busy shopping day, it was 10 days before Halloween, and there were people out everywhere and really nothing do was done to protect anybody or to even inform people properly to get out of here. The impact on our business, we lost $12,000 in predicted sales that day. 10 days before Halloween is huge for us. and. Um, we didn't hear anything from PG&E. The day that it happened, PG the PG&E guys out here said it's not our fault, contract, contact the contractors. Uh, we contacted them. They said it was PG&E's fault. Um, we didn't hear anything until the merchants meeting the first Thursday in November where some PG&E guys showed up, had no information, had no claim forms, barely knew the situation that went on, said they would get back in touch with us. Later that day, I got a phone call from Josh from PG&E, who told me that his records show that the gas was only flowing for about 20 minutes. Well, I know for a fact it was flowing for about three hours because I was evacuated up the block, and you can hear it, and you can smell the additive. If anything had sparked, every business on this block would have been gone.